Lecture 36, preparing for the final exam. Okay, so to close out, I want to talk a little bit about the final exam and uh, see to it that uh, you go into this with a feeling of preparedness of uh, at least some level uh, and that you will not be uh, too worried about the exam. So the exam is going to be based on the material that we've covered in the lectures primarily, um, and it's going to be uh, also including anything that was covered in the labs. And it's also in scope. Uh, and the exam is cumulative. Uh, we are planning to have a midterm at the time of recording. And uh, if we have the midterm as expected, um, then yeah, uh, the midterm exam covers obviously only material that's up to that point in the course. Um, and then the post midterm material, uh, and as well as the pre midterm material can be on the final exam. Uh, although you may reasonably expect there is more emphasis on the post midterm material in the final exam. Uh, and anything that could be uh, in the exam from the labs could be from anywhere uh, throughout the labs in this course. Um, so suggestions for how to prepare for the final exam. I mean, you want to look over the lecture notes. You want to look at the uh, slides. If they're helpful, you can certainly look at the videos uh, again if you, uh, if you like. Um, and it is important also to understand your lab solutions. If there is a question uh, on the exam about labs, uh, it will not be a good situation if you didn't contribute enough to your, um, to your labs or you, or you only focused on a very small part, so you don't really understand how it all fits together. Um, so having a good understanding of all of the parts of the lab will be um, necessary if, you are, uh, if you're going to do well on that question on the exam, let's say that. In terms of what will the exam look like, uh, one of the best things to look at is old exams. Um, if you have uh, access to old exams, if it's future term, uh, old final exams that I've written, that's great. Um, in the uh, first offering that I'm doing it, of course, there won't be previous uh, SE350 final exams because there just haven't been any. Um, that's okay. Um, I can say that the midterm is kind of a good guide as to what will the final exam look like, um, but also I have uh, made available in Learn uh, a number of past exams, both from other instructors uh, where I have gotten permission to post their uh, exams and where I've gotten permission to post the solutions to those. Uh, and long ago, uh, I used to teach uh, an operating systems course that had a similar uh, calendar description to SE 350. That course was EC 254. Uh, and that one is uh, a source of some previous exams that I have managed to put in Learn as well. Um, and another thing, of course, is when you're preparing is if you feel uncertain about something, if you have questions, if something is not clear to you, um, then that's also partly what Piazza is for. Asking those questions and you know, having an answer to them uh, is a good way to feel a bit more confident about how you understand a topic. Um, the exam will take place according to the registrar's office schedule at the time of recording. I don't know when it's going to be because they haven't released that yet, but that's okay. Um, we will just go with whatever is in the, in the schedule. Uh, and the plan is for it to be your standard issue two and a half hour um, final exam written in person. Um, although given that situations can always change, uh, we have a plan for an alternate exam. If the exam has to be online, then it would be a take home exam uh, in which you would have a 24 hour window. Uh, the start time would still be the same as specified by the registrar's office schedule. Uh, and uh, as, as time goes on, it seems sort of increasingly unlikely that um, we would have to move it to online, but we will keep our options open. If it is uh, an in-person exam you know, written by hand uh, in uh, you know, an exam room, um, then yeah, the nature of the exam will reflect um, that. If it is going to be an online take-home exam, uh, then the expectations will be a little bit different. There will be more sort of practical questions where you write code uh, and you can evaluate the code uh, and the grading scheme reflects that. So uh, hopefully we don't have to engage the alternate plan, um, but you never know. With that said, uh, however the exam is actually carried out, um, there will be about 30 to 40% written questions. Um, so these are questions that don't ask you to write any code, um, but ask you to analyze something, ask you to um, write pseudocode, um, ask you to answer questions about something. You can see this on like a previous um, exam. Um, and we should expect that it will resemble the midterm uh, and programming questions will resemble labs. Um, there's, there's no assignments in this course, um, but there are uh, some 
uh, assignments from previous uh, instructors uh, that might be interesting to look at. Um, and programming questions will also resemble uh, midterm questions as well. Um, if we are writing the exam uh, online or in person. Either way, there are no questions permitted during the exam. Um, in, in person, like not putting up your hand. Um, online, you know, no piazza questions are answered during the exam window. Um, and um, if it is going to be in person, there is a closed book exam. And I'll give you a reference sheet uh, that will contain some information about you know, system calls and things that you would need to know, such that you don't have to memorize that kind of thing. Um, if it is online, um, then obviously other resources are available to you. you know, Google exists. Uh, there is still the expectation that what you are submitting is your own independent work, not so uh, collaborating with colleagues, not asking AI to write any code for you. Um, so we do still have that expectation. Uh, and you should treat it as if it is a final exam. Um, now, Typically, you know, what I say to the you know, 2B students that I teach for, say, uh, EC252 uh, is something like this. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. But you are not a Jedi yet. But considering that you're third-year students, and you know, considering where you are in the degree, um, maybe something like this is more appropriate. <laughs> That said, um, this is going to wrap up our uh, course for SE350. As it is, uh, I hope this has answered uh, some of the questions that you had about the final exam or final assessment and how to prepare for it. Um, and uh, otherwise, um, I guess this is one last opportunity for me to plug. Um, uh, you can take um, EC459, the Program for Performance course, in the future uh, if you're so inclined, because it does build on a number of the topics that we have talked about in this course um, on the subject of, say, concurrency. Uh, and in terms of you know, doing things uh, efficiently or effectively or you know, getting them done faster. Uh, and so maybe we'll see you there.